one of the interesting things about what your com company currently does is influencer marketing, right? Now, this is a, a relatively new sort of phenomenon, um, probably brought about by the Facebook, social media kind of generation. Um, and I think, you know, when people hear this kind of thing, they think, oh, getting a, a cricketer or a, or, a, or a movie star to be up there and be promoting that product. But what can startups do to, to engage with these types of influencers? Is, is there any advice that you have for some young startups here that, that, that want to do this type of uh, marketing? I hope to be able to do that. I hope to be able to do that. Um, influencer marketing, the term or the name given to this kind of marketing is new. But I believe we have lived with influencer marketing for a long time. For example, the company where I used to work earlier, Tally Solutions, have a very famous product called as Tally. It's an accounting solution. And Tally has been always bought, purchased, right? That's an ideal situation for any business that there is a pull in the market. And how did that happen? My belief is also one of the factors for that is the whole lot of CAs in the country. There's about 60,000 CAs, chartered accountants who have been recommending or referring Tally because at the end of the day, the CA's work becomes easier if the client is using or the customer is using Tally, right? Because there's a seamless working possible for the two of them. Now let's take an example which is more closer. Tally is a big, big company, right? Uh, now let's look at mine and your life or any one of our lives. I was just talking to a friend today whom I have uh, referred to a physiotherapy center where I had gone about five or six years back. Now, I was referred to this physiotherapy center when I had a backache by a colleague of mine. I have referred subsequently that same physiotherapy center to both my kids who are football players, so you can imagine, and also to this friend of mine and to his father-in-law. Right? Now from one customer or one patient who was happy and saw the value of this particular physiotherapy center and the doctor, I have referred him to four or at least five people and each one in turn I'm reasonably sure have recommended them to others. Now what are we creating? We are creating a ripple effect or a network effect which is the most powerful mode of communication. Now do we all use this in some way or another in our lives? When we have to buy a phone what do we do most often? We go online and look for reviews. right? Now what is that? That's a social proof a customer who's satisfied has left on the uh, uh, the World Wide Web, right? There could also be negative feedback. So you are doing, anybody who today buys, makes a substantial investment will do their own research. They could probably ask their friends or they might probably go online and check. Now a smart marketer or a smart salesperson will use all these tools. They will probably use the social media to do a little bit of research about the customer whom they are going to pitch to or talk to the customers who are already happy and then probably get them to recommend, you create case studies, you create testimonials, videos, whatever, whichever is convenient and whichever is more accessible by your target audience and put them up there so that people can use it. I always like to talk about how, why I bought, I'm an avid reader and uh, over the period of last couple of years, I've accumulated quite a number of books and which is a nuisance to everybody at home. Right? Every shelf is overflowing. Now it's gone into my children's rooms also. So recently I was browsing for a book, not recently, about two years ago. And my husband started yelling, saying that, you buy one more book. Do tell me, why don't you go for Kindle? And I'm not, I'm very, uh, you know, hands on. I mean, yeah, somebody who likes a book in my hand. So I refused and obviously ended up in a slight fight. But as I went for a walk with my friend with whom I go for walks every day, she asked me, what's up? What's wrong? So I said, this is what happened. So she said, hey, but you must buy Kindle. You know, I'm using it. I said, okay. I left it at that. And then uh, the same week, I went for a travel to Delhi. And my boss, whom I've known for a long time, who's also a book person, carrying a Kindle. Now, I was influenced. So these are some things that I wanted to share. How do you, no matter how good your product or service is, Invariably, the customer has some feedback to give you, some inconvenience or something that he has enjoyed. Take the feedback about the inconvenience to strengthen your product or your service and take the positive feedback to spread the word.